welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome and do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell but if you want to know how i was able to achieve this look how i was able to get my hair to this ash blonde color with these dark roots then make sure you continue to watch this entire video and y'all clearly i was feeling myself so let's just go ahead and get this video started so the hair that I'll be working with today is from a company called Bangs on Target. So I got this 613 100% virgin human hair. It is a T-part wig. Okay, it's not a full lace front, but it is 18 inches and it's also a body wave wig as well. And so right here, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the construction of it. You guys see the inside construction. It has two combs at the top, comb at the bottom, and then it has your adjustable straps and then it also has a comb in the middle as well so you guys can see that I have a little bit um, of lace on the hairline and so I can be able to you know wear the hair back but not how I want to and so I can be able to pluck some of the hairline and make it look a little bit more natural because I do have some lace on the hairline. Now I'm just running my fingers through the hair, just seeing how the hair feels and it's pretty soft. Really like that about the hair. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what all came in the box. So I got a wig cap, it came with two. And then I also got this thank you letter in the bag. So on the thank you letter, it's telling me that I can get a free gift. But let's get into this dye, because that's what we came here for, for real. So for the roots, I will be using this brown black dye from Revlon Color Silk. And then for the overall hair color, I got two different ash blondes. The first one I'll be using is a dark ash blonde. The second one I'll be using is a medium ash blonde both from Revlon all of these dyes are from Revlon color silk brand and you can find them at your nearest Walmart now I'm going to go ahead and start mixing everything together we're starting off with the roots the roots is going to be done first and so I'm going to go ahead and pour the developer and the dye into this mixing bowl and mix it all together and start applying it to the hair One thing I have to mention you guys is that this is my first time ever dyeing any type of hair, any type of wigs, like any type of bundles, whatever. Like this is my first time and so I'm pretty impressed the way it turned out in the end because I've never dyed my own hair. So yeah, keep on watching y'all. So I know with this part you want to be very careful and you want to take your time because you do not want the dye to bleach through the lace which I ended up doing um, and then I had to bleach my lace but at the, at the end of the day it all worked out it all turned out beautifully and so um, yeah if you do make a mistake just know that you can go back and bleach your lace like I did at the end of the day. But yeah, so y'all just, it, it can be a little tedious, but at, um, it's fun at the same time, especially if you have a full lace wig. Um, I know it's gonna be a little bit more work and it has to take a little bit more patience, but just go at your own pace and just take your time with it. Now that I feel that I have the roots how I want it, I'm going to start applying the hair color now. So I'm going to go ahead and instead of using the mixing bowl, I'm going to pour the dye into the developer bottle and shake it up and start applying it. Now there's no rules to applying the hair color at all. I just went crazy. I just started applying it. Just, you know, just make sure that you get it all in there. That's the end goal. Just make sure it's all in there and you got all of the hair dyed. This 
skincare has taken this dive pretty well. And one thing I've noticed, you know, somebody who's inexperienced and who hasn't really dyed hair or who's never dyed hair before, just seeing how fast this color is developing and how it's showing up and is dyeing this hair, I thought that was pretty cool because I get an idea of how it's gonna turn out. Now that the first bottle of dye has ran out, I'm moving on to the medium ash blonde and I'm going to do the same process as the first bottle. I'm gonna just apply it and get those spots that I've missed, get those blonde spots underneath. As I was dying, I decided that I wanted to add more of the brown to the roots. And so instead of just having it on the outside um, of the hairline, I decided to add more of it on the inside. Just parting the hair and adding a little bit more of the brown on the inside as well, not just on the hairline. So once I was finished with the dye and I used up all the dye in the bottles, I decided to take my comb, small tooth comb, and started combing the hair back to mix in all the dye within the hair and to make sure that all of the hair is dyed. And then I just balled it up and clipped it and let it sit. All right, so next step is for me to go ahead and bleach my knots. Since I did end up getting some dye on my lace, like I said earlier, I have to go in and bleach my knots. So I'm going to go ahead and take my 30 volume and my um, BW developer and I got it at a thick consistency because I did not want this bleach to bleach through my knots again. And so I got it as thick as I can and I just put it on there. I don't have much lace, right? So I only got a tea part of lace and so I don't have to do much. And so this was pretty quick. So once that was done, this is how it turned out. The hair is still wet, but this is how the hairline and everything is looking so far. And after blow drying the hair, this is how it turned out. Y'all look how the parting and the hairline and everything is looking so far. Like it is looking so good. Now before blow drying my hair, I was like, I don't know about this hair color because while it was wet, it was super gray. Um, and I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling this. I don't know if I did it right. But when I blow dried it, it definitely took the gray out some. Now the last step is just for me to curl my hair so you guys can just watch me curl my hair and watch me mess up and <laughs> Watch me look like I don't know what I'm doing, but I achieved the look, okay? And that's all that matters. To apply this wig, I went ahead and did that off camera, but I used the Got To Be Glue Spray. I did not feel the need or I did not feel it was necessary to do the ball cap method. And so I just went ahead and did the got to be glue spray to lay down this wig and that did the job. So this is the final look and as you guys can tell, I was clearly 
happy I was clearly feeling myself okay because I felt like I did that from the color to laying it down to all of that like can nobody tell me nothing at this point <laughs> but nah for real um I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did if you are new, do not forget to subscribe to your girl's channel. Do not forget to hit that notifications bell. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. And don't forget to follow my social media so you can get more of this look. And I will see you all next time.